Hello viewers, I'm glad to come your way once again. This is Pastor Emmanuel Bible Message Center. Today we are concluding our series Born of God. In our previous lesson, we realized the image of God in every believer. Today we are going to know who we are now as Christians. So far, we've realized that we hail from the second Adam, the Lord Jesus. We also realize that we are the Word of God now in the flesh. Our first Bible reading today will be taken from John 14, from verse 12 to verse 17. Jesus said, Most assuredly I say to you, he who believes in me, the works that I do, he will do also. And greater works than this he will do, because I go to my Father. And whatever you ask in my name, I will do, that the Father may be glorified in the Son. You ask anything in my name, I will do it. If you love me, keep my commandment. And I'll pray the Father, and he will give you another helper, that he may abide with you forever. The spirit of truth, whom the world cannot receive, because it neither sees him nor knows him. But you know him, for he dwells with you, and will be in you. Now, we knew that Jesus came to the earth to give eternal life to mankind. That is the timelessless life of God. If that is true, that is why he is saying, whoever believes in him, the works he did, the same thing will also do. Because it's the exact life of God that was in him that he brought to mankind. Hallelujah. Then he says, whatever we ask the Father in his name, he will do it if we keep his commandment. Now, one thing we have to catch from this particular verse, he says, I will pray to the Father and he will give you another helper that he may abide with you forever. We knew that this helper is the Holy Spirit. And in Luke chapter 1, the Bible says Mary was found with a child of the Holy Ghost. That means the Holy Spirit was the Father of Jesus. Okay, and Jesus is promising that same Holy Spirit. That means the Father is what Jesus is promising. He says, you know him, for he dwells with you and will be in you. In the latter verse of John 14, let's say from verse 8 up to verse 10, Jesus told Philip, it's not me that is doing the works, but the Father that dwells in me is the one that is doing the work. Now Jesus is promising, this Father is coming to be in us also. That means we'll be doing exactly what Jesus did when he was on the planet Earth. Hallelujah. That's a very, very powerful news. So, if Jesus says the works he did, we can do, and greater works than this we can do, is because he is trying to duplicate himself on the earth, even in his absence. Look at this in John 12, 24. The Bible says, most assuredly I say to you, unless a grain of wheat falls into the ground and dies, it remains alone. But if it dies, it produces much grain. This is a principle of duplication or multiplication. Jesus was saying, if I die, I will be able to multiply myself on the earth. But if I refuse to go, I will be alone. So after Jesus died and resurrected, we are the exact duplicate of the Lord Jesus. So if Jesus is no more on the earth, he can still be known through we believers. The scripture also said in 1 John 4, 17, said, Love has been perfected among us in this, that we may have boldness in the day of judgment. Because as he is, so are we in this world. If it is true that as, as Jesus is, so are we, in this world. That means there is nothing that should limit a believer because already he said he would duplicate himself on the earth. So exactly what he said is what John the Apostle repeated in 1 John 4 17 that as he is so are we in this world. The world has not yet seen what is going to happen. I know what I'm talking about. I've seen the reality of this word and I believe as we receive the word as it is, it will make a difference in the life of every believer. God bless you so much for giving us your time. In our next series, we'll be dealing with faith. So keep following us on Facebook and YouTube to receive more life.